Hello, people of the YouTube land. No, my name is not Oprah Winfrey, um, but you can call me David. And this is my first ever YouTube video. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I could lactate. Oh. I've been wanting to do this for years, and I have just been like afraid to do it. And I was just like, okay, it's now or never. Like, I just hear feel and hear time flying so I'm just like okay turn on your camera and get to recordings what's the worst thing that can happen thousands of people hate me so what okay well I was thinking what would be a good way to start off my YouTube channel so the first thing that came to my mind was like one of those like get to know me tags where it's like 10 things to know about me to get familiar with me, to see if you might like me, to see if you might hate me, who knows? So I was just like, okay, so let me write down 10 things that I love to talk about, 10 things that you might want to know about me, so I was just like, okay, so let me grab my notebook, I wrote it down, because I have the mind of a 172 year old man, <clears throat> 10 things you might want to know about me, I'm single. Number one, what are some of your favorite films? Favorite films, I am a movie addict. I go to the movie theaters at least once a week and I watch movies almost three, four times a week. I know you might be asking yourself, how do you have enough time? Because I don't have any friends and I don't have a life. So one of my favorite films of all time, I have to say it's Death Becomes Her. It's one of my favorite freaking films of all time. I watch that film at least two times a month because it's that good and it's so campy, it's so over the top, and it has Meryl Streep in it in a way that we have never seen her before. It's so good. If you've never seen Death Becomes Her, you are missing out on one of the funnest, silliest, over the toppest experiences of your freaking life, okay? Get on it. Two, it of my favorite films has to be Psycho. It is my favorite film of all time. I am a huge horror movie addict and Psycho was the first film that I ever remember seeing as a kid and it traumatized the hell out of me. A lot of people were traumatized by the shower scene but for me I was more traumatized by the ending scene when we find out who Mother is. That drove me into a hellish experience that I will never forget. Next, Clue. If you have never seen Clue, not Clueless, although that's an amazing movie, get on it. Clue is one of my favorite films of all time. Every time I see that movie, I stop what I'm doing. If I have plans, I cancel it. I say that I'm sick. I'm not. I just want to see Clue. So get on it. It's one of the funnest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. One of my favorite books that I have been reading is um, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof is one of my favorite books. I've re I read it once in high school, and then I re I'm reading it again now, and it is so good, and it's so of the times, and it's so interesting to see the hidden messages within the book, because if you've never heard about it, if you've never seen it, it's basically about this guy that lost his best friend but they were kind of lovers and so after he lost him he went into this alcoholic spin and craziness ensues in this book and it's just so good you must read it it's such an amazing book especially for pride month because tennessee williams wrote it and he is pretty phenomenal and fabulous if i might say um what do you love to do on your spare time well, some people love to go out, some people are very active, some people are, you know, I like to go hiking, I like to go swimming, I like to go to the beach. Not me. Um, I am the type of person that loves to be home. I love watching TV, I love preparing a nice meal, I love laying in bed, watching TV, and just being me, okay? Because I don't have the interest to be outside. Um, I'm not an outdoorsy kind of person, so if you ever think of calling me to go out, I might not, unless, you know, there's another incentive, you know. But, yeah, that's usually what I love to do on my spare time. That's the only thing that I like to do on my spare time that I actually enjoy doing. Do you have any fashion icons? People that I look up to 
growing up were definitely Grace Jones. I remember watching Grace Jones on YouTube and I remember watching her films and well, I mean, by her films, I mean Boomerang, which is like the most, one of the most iconic films of all time. Um, and I remember just watching her and I remember saying to myself, this woman is fabulous because she does this thing beautifully of blending both genders together. And she dresses up very feminine, but she also mixes in a little bit of masculine in there. And it just drives me insane every time I see this woman. And even today, she's still freaking killing it and she is letting the children know how it's done. And also another one of my fashion icons is David Bowie. But David Bowie in the Thin White Duke era, which was like 1975-1977 if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, um, it is so good. I remember growing up and I was like, I'm not a suit and tie kind of guy, but when I saw David Bowie in the Thin White Duke with his white and black, it was so simple, but it was so theatrical at the same time. And yeah, those were my two fashion icons that I remember like dying over that I was just like I want to be these people when I grow up and I'm still aspiring to be like them because they're so confident and they don't give a damn regardless of what you call them of what you might want to say any TV shows that I'm watching right now right now I'm actually watching quite a few TV shows right now I'm watching um, Pose which is life changing this TV show is so good it Regardless of if you're straight, gay, bi, trans, whatever, you must see Pose because it is so important to watch this show. Of course, it's entertainment, it's amazing, but it's so of the time and it's important for this generation that didn't grow up in the 70s and 80s to understand where we're going and we're, how far we have come and how far we have to go as a community. Of course, Queer Eye on Netflix is amazing. It's If you have not seen this, you must. Also, Claws on TNT is so fabulous. I watch the heck out of season one and I'm obsessed with season two. It's so good. You must watch it. If you love female power, if you love women being badasses, kicking ass, go watch Claws because you will not miss it at all. Of course, RuPaul's Drag Race. If you're not watching RuPaul's Drag Race, what are you doing with your life? Hello, quit your job. Who cares? Watch Drag Race. It'll pay your bills. It'll, call, it'll cure your depression. I promise. What would my perfect vacation look like? Well, I'm the type of person that does not like um, the heat. I know I'm, it's funny because I'm Dominican, so I don't know how that came about, but I do not like the heat. So for me, I would rather go somewhere like Aspen, Colorado for the for a good vacay and just go s learn how to ski, meet a good ski instructor, fall in love, never come back, get married, and live my best life. Cause like, why not? Those, that would be like my my favorite place to go if I could go for a vacation. I know people want to go to the beach, to go to California. Even though I would love to go to California, but for me, I love the cold weather. I love snow, I love the wind just blowing on my baldness and it's just like so good. It's oh oh my god I'm just mm, getting shivers all over. Ooh. Favorite artist. My favorite artist honestly there's only three. It's Mariah Carey, Barbra Streisand and Lady Gaga. Those are my everything. I mean I could not live without those three women for different reasons but they are so amazing. They changed my life. I remember growing up, I was like nine, 10 years old when I first heard Mariah Carey. I got her albums. I also, Barbara Streisand, her TV specials are legendary. If you have not seen them, they're now on Netflix, which is freaking amazing. And of course, Lady Gaga, because Lady Gaga is iconic. She is so good and she's fabulous and she's lovely and she's so talented, not only as a singer, but as an actress. I mean, she's gonna be in A Star Is Born later this year. Hello. And American Horror Story. I mean, she was fabulous in it. She won the, she won awards. Hello, for God's sakes. Um, favorite places to shop for clothes. Um, I love going to, I love, I'm not one to go to stores a lot. I'm not much of a people person. I don't like being around crowds that often. So for me, I love um, online shopping. ASOS is for them, or ASOS, correct me if I'm wrong. Dolls Kill, I love Dolls Kill. If you have not gone to Dolls Kill, it is so good, whether you're a girl or a guy. It's so fun because it's so out there, but not too crazy to the point that you can't walk down the street without being, you know, kidnapped or something. You know, like it's it's pushing it, but not to the point where you're gonna end up in prison. You know, you're gonna you're not gonna be showing 
nipples and stuff like that, you know. Now on to number nine, almost the end, I know. Well, I asked myself this question, what are you grateful for? Because every day of my life that I wake up, I ask myself, what am I grateful for? Because a lot of times we tend to be very self-critical and we tend to think of what we don't have instead of what we already have. And for me, the thing that comes to mind every time I ask myself this question is life. I mean, you, you were given this life. I mean, what else could you ask for? The rest is just up to you. I, whether you're religious or not, just be grateful for the life you have. You know, because a lot of times we complain, we're like, oh my God, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. Wouldn't it be so nice if I did? No, like be grateful for what you have. And then if you want something, write it down. Set goals for yourself that you could accomplish, but that's just, you know, that's just on you. But the gift that you've been given, life is everything. I mean, people, oh, don't appreciate their lives enough. And that's a little bit frustrating, but live your life. You only have one. This is not a dress rehearsal. So just get out there and do what you wanna do and just realize that what you have already is enough. So yeah. And the last question, number 10, darling, is what are your dreams in life? Now, this is a complicated one. This is probably the hardest question I ask myself. If I'm being completely honest, is to create a platform where I can just share my interests and share what I love, share, spread positivity, and encourage myself to be myself. Because growing up, I was always um, embarrassed about who I was because I was so different from the rest of the of my classmates or my family or you know everybody else that I always felt like there was something off about not something wrong but something off. So for me, I just want to be able to create a place where I can just be myself and just oh be me and just love myself and maybe I can help somebody and just I don't know help you get through some stuff because we're all going through some ish. So. It's very important for me to just build a platform where I can just be myself and feel like I can have built a community of like-minded people that can just, that just get me, okay? Cause I don't know, somebody, somebody out there. No, not you, mom. No, I know you're what, no, not you. But somebody else out there, I know for a fact that there's somebody else out there that we would be friends. We would be, we would be friends. I know, I know, I know we would. That's the person that I want to help, that I would love to connect with. I don't care if you live a couple of blocks away from me. I don't care if you live in Australia. I don't care where you live. But I know there's somebody out there that I can like connect with and build a conversation with and build a friendship with and just be myself with it. I don't, I don't feel like, oh, is this person judging me? Does this person think that I'm weird? Does this person think that I'm crazy? Does this person wants to kill me or wants to kidnap me and take my organs and oh, but yeah. Just be myself and just, I don't know, just do you, boo, because ain't nobody else gonna do you like you do you. So yeah, people, that is me in a nutshell, but of course there will be a lot more of me if that's what you like. Um, I want to do videos every week. I've been wanting to do this for years. I've seen a lot of YouTubers live their lives through YouTube, and i been wanting to do this since I was like in high school. So I said to myself, why not start now? Because, hello. Why not? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I'm sorry I wasted your time. If you did, well, next week I will have another video for you to shimmy your way through, huh? So if you like this, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, so you can catch me every week. And next week I will have another topic because every week I talk about things that I love enjoy, I'm intrigued by, I'm curious by. So every week it'll be something different because I'm always curious about something new and I'm always loving something new. So subscribe, like, and I'll see you next week, sexies. And remember, this is not a dress rehearsal. So go out there, do you, and if other people don't like it, well tell them to kiss your ass because honey, you gotta do you, okay? So until next time, bye.